I think my one message would be to start listening to young people more. This is a fantastically active generation and a lot of the research we are doing is trying to, to focus on that. My name is Paula Pustulka and I'm a sociologist, a social researcher interested in uh, primarily in the broad discipline of youth studies and in the context of this film I think it's very important that I'm the director of the Youth Research Center which is one of the bigger centers at the university and it gathers or it brings together people from various disciplines who work on uh, aspects or topics or issues related to youth. I joined Youth Research Center uh, in 2020 and at first I was a postdoc in an NCN uh, funded project and after that there was a possibility of me staying here and I was very happy to take it. I really um, enjoy working together with my colleagues from the lab. I feel like our cooperation is based on trust, which is very important. We sent and got young scholars working on a variety of up-to-date, relevant research issues connected with youth studies. We have uh, sociologists, psychologists, uh, economists, philosophers, uh, great statisticians and qualitative researchers. Every member can present their ideas, research needs or papers on the thematic meetings and seminars, workshops and get a feedback. They can also provide their feedback and support to other members. I appreciate teamwork very much and this is the place where I can uh, count on support. I met people who are really fascinated by the research area. They are experts in their fields and they enjoy conducting research. Research centers are those areas where we traditionally associated with people who are quite established in their career, but my research center potentially because um, it is focusing on youth, brings together primarily people who are uh, academically, so to speak, young. So they've just finished their uh, masters, they've started their PhDs, they are early postdoc or early career. So this mentoring aspect is very, very important um, for me. And I think that we at the center are trying to create this um, atmosphere of collegiality and also sisterhood and I'm not afraid to say that because we have projects that are dedicated to you know the gender aspects also in academia and in private and professional lives of uh, people that um, we are trying to have this uh, support sort of network um, of peers and uh, mentors who help one another. I'm this type of a sociologist that, who is very empirical and is very sort of reactive to change. So I'm really interested in various moments in uh, people's lives when something changes. And that kind of brings me to why I'm so interdisciplinary or it's hard to name one field where, on which I focus because obviously change uh, in our lives happens in uh, various areas and on different planes. So uh, talking about you know, my career progression, I would say that I started with more specific topics. So what happens when someone uh, grows up in a, a country like Poland, which is quite homogeneous, and then goes abroad and what kind of issues and questions and identity crises uh, this kind of move uh, can potentially bring to a person or a family. So I researched migration for a, a couple of years um, in different countries, uh, but then I noticed that the female experience in migration is quite different than the men's migration experience. So I shifted my focus a little bit to gender studies and uh, I worked a lot and still work on the topics related to tra the so-called transitions to parenting and transitions to motherhood. So uh, becoming a mother for a first time and how that defines our biographies. And in the end, I kind of realized that all those topics that I am so fascinated by 
have to do with this very dense period of our lives that is our youth and young adulthood. And during that time, you know, so many changes happen. We change jobs, we change relationships, we move around, uh, we are in different situations all the time. So I think that youth studies and is sort of my defining field and it's the research to which I connect the most. Uh, and uh, where my most recent projects are primarily uh, based on. A lot of the research we are doing is trying to sort of empower young people and uh, basically tell young people that we as researchers see them and we do recognize the fantastic contributions that they're making and I feel that those types of narratives from young people should be more centralized in discourses and politics and socially more broadly. Yeah.